So there it is. Yeah, I think uh, uh, humility and, and uh, pers uh, persistence is huge in, yeah. in, in attaining that goal. Yes. Yes. Um, and the second one, uh, second point in this article is to prioritize your dreams. Well, I just, I just laid that out for you guys. I mean, prioritizing. What are you prioritizing? One of the habits in, in Kobe's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is to begin with the end in mind. So seeing the result in your mind before you start and having a clear idea of what you want to achieve and being able to prioritize sundry aspirations into a single highest attainable goal, that's very important. It's very important to know and to see the end result. Roll the ball. Somebody That's how we make our videos. I mean, I, I said one day I wanted to make white animation videos, and suddenly the opportunity pops up, and this thing called videos comes. Then I said I want to make whiteboard videos, and then someone sends me doodly and video of it. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. And then finally, I'm like, okay, green screen videos. I need, give me a sign. Okay, we want to see you in that green scene, in that green outfit there, <laughs> Kareem. <laughs> I don't have any green at well, I've won. <laughs> All right, I'll put a Martian costume on. <laughs> All we'll see is your head just bobbing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kareem. Look. But the whole reason is because I prioritize it. I didn't go out and dr get drunk. I didn't go to a baseball game. I didn't go and party all day or go to, like, concerts all day like my friends would. I said, I'm going to sit here and figure it out. It wasn't fun. I was sitting at the computer all day saying, oh, how do I add another scene? Where can I find a better whiteboard creator? What are good programs to create videos? And all of, all of a sudden, people are like, oh, I like that video. I like your work. Create one for me. I'm like, yes. But it, be it came because of two things, number one and number two. <clears throat> I visualized what I want, and then it, and then I prioritized being good at video. And then suddenly, I feel that people come to me and Chris now, and they're like, "Wow, that looks pretty cool." But it's because yeah. I, I sat there. And I was yeah, that, like, that's like we met, right? <laughs> yeah, that is how we met. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I need yeah. to talk a foreign voice over here, and Kareem was the man. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little voiceover, which was fun. And yeah. the the whole idea of that is, and all this creative stuff, writing, creating video, doing anything entrepreneurial is you need to activate your imagination and then prioritize whatever you want to do. Then you'll be all right. Right, Sharon? Sharon came back from a long hiatus. Wow. Sharon. Sharon. Hey, guys. Hey! Wow! Bringing the energy. Hey, Cheryl, welcome back. She ran a ten-mile marathon. She's like, get to the power hour. Woo! Ten miles? I would think that's more of a thousand miles. <laughs> more like a million. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, it's good to hear your voice, Sharon. And tonight, we're just talking about six habits that you can use to bring your dreams into reality, and we already just, well, how long have you been here? Did you just get on? I get on for like, I don't know, five, ten minutes, not even. Okay. <laughs> so she heard, she probably heard what I talked about just a few minutes, or what we talked about just a few minutes ago. So, yeah, prioritizing those dreams. I mean, for me, I wake up in the morning now, I go to work, I come home, and I'm like, okay, I look at my phone, I plan my day, and I'm like, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. And, you know, when so many people have done it before, you, there's a formula. It's, it's become formulaic. Success is a formula. So if you're working towards something, you're going to achieve it. Uh, right. setting, key, setting key milestones is very important as well because Warren Burnus once said that mountain climbers don't start climbing from the bottom of the mountain. They look at where they want to go and work backwards from where they're starting from, and that's actually how mountain climbing works. You got to look up at the top of the mountain, and you got to figure out, okay, well, how do I get down? Because if you can learn how to descend from a mountain top, you can learn how to ascend up the mountain, and that's how mountain climbing works. You don't stand there at the bottom and go, hey, how do I? Go? No, you got to be up high so you can see how the landscape is. All, you know, the structure of the mountain and everything like that. So it makes sense. I mean, it's the same for goal setting. When you begin 
with the end in mind and set an action plan, you can begin to work backwards and set interim goals which advance you towards your vision. On the ball. I agree, Chris. I think that uh, your illustration earlier that uh, you have a job and I know you get up at the crack of dawn and your day gets started early, mm-hmm. but you're you're not one that has a champagne taste on a beer pocketbook. You have planned and you've had structure to get to the top of that mountain. Yep. And I'm still climbing. Mm-hmm. We're still climbing. I mean, this is uh, this is an ongoing process for us, you know. So it's not like we're, we're but getting... But look how far you've come, yes, both exactly. of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that recognition. Yeah, I think it's I, I think it's important that I give people the praise and the credibility for all their contributions to the show. And I just want to address all of our viewers, all of our people that come on here and give you guys a thank you. Thank you for believing in us and our vision because we want to share this with the entire world. We want to get up there on stage, Kareem and myself, and inspire hearts and minds. That's really what helps me feel good at the end of the day is knowing that what we're doing is of value and people are taking something away from this and they're putting it into their own life so that they can reach their full potential. Because I know that people like Earl Nightingale, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, I could keep naming people that I read and listen to. I, I'm following their formulas. And you see, they were, they were kind enough and great enough people to share their discoveries with the world so that everybody could become everything that they want to become. And that's exactly what the Entrepreneur Power Hour was created from, is that type of spirit. It's definitely been inspiring and empowering. And you and Kareem and Ron and all of the uh, people that are here week after week and giving us input, Mm -hmm. uh, I really appreciate all of you. And I want to take this time to wish everybody a happy thanksgiving and a happy holiday right yes tomorrow is your thanksgiving that's right uh we celebrate ours up here in canada in october right right that's weird why is our thanksgiving a month and a half before yours i I don't know why they should all just be it should all just be on the same day all over the world it's a conspiracy. Dun, dun, it must dun, be. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> it must be those damn lizards, man. I'm <laughs> uh, <laughs> could be. <laughs> be Let's carry like. on, everybody, and God bless. Carry on, carry on. There's <laughs> nothing really matters. All right, so number four, monitor your progress. So one of the benefits of a structured approach to goal and vision setting is that individuals can clearly see how each action and effort propels them forward towards their highest goal. This helps you build momentum and motivation. Dreams, on the other hand, are a wispy by nature, and it can be baffling to know how to get a handle on them. So plan your day. Uh, There's some great apps out there like AnyDo, Day Planner. You just have to search Google the App Store for Day Planner, and you'll get a list of apps a mile and a half long. So again, thankful. I'm thankful for those kinds of people who are creating apps for busy people like us who need structure in their day or their plans just go, you know. So monitoring your progress, very important. Um, I know Kareem and I, we monitor our progress. We're always getting together and we're like, okay, you're going to do this today? Okay, well, I'll do this. You're going to do this? Okay, well, I'll do this. And, you know, hopefully, and we are working towards having more people work with us on the show like doing promotioning, uh, promoting us on social media so that we don't have to do it ourselves, uh, sharing our videos, doing writing up articles for us, writing blogs about our show and about our content. And eventually it's one of my goals to be featured on entrepreneur.com as a contributor. So that's where I get a lot of our ideas for the show from is from this wonderful website. 